Up through the gears they go, and they'll dive into turn one. Already, we're seeing him get awful close to the wall on the exit of turn two. Not sure if that was Reddick. From a double zero, Custer got in the wall just a little bit. And how quickly Christopher Bell has fallen back to third. Heard the report was how tight Denny was in front of him. Nemechek right in front of him. And Denny may have escaped it. And Nemechek comes through your screen that Black with the white numbers, that's the 23 of Nemechek. Just gets loose, trying to get the power down on corner exit. It's this season. Make it 24 as he comes out of turn four. And Tyler oh, Reddick is going to win stage course. one here at Darlington. Back out front. And we'll see what Blaney can do with that momentum now. He gets by Christopher Bell for that second position and looks to the inside of Reddick. Oh, Roll around goes the 86 behind them. You see right there in the middle of your screen just gets loose and spinning. Pretty heavy contact by the nine. And a sideways all guyer again as it goes down the back stretch. Oh, Custer joining this fight. Oh, oh. into the wall goes the seven of all guyer. That is some hard contact. The 12 of Ryan Blaney will win stage two, the fight for second. Uh, scraping the wall again is Justin Allgaier, and he's having all kinds of problems right now in that seven car. I think he's got some damage on the race car now. He might have got a tire down or into the car. He's slow now. Christopher Bell goes by. Chase Briscoe goes by. So Justin Allgaier has wore the right side of that race car out, and in fact, now he slides down to the inside of the racetrack off the pace. Got trouble off from turn number four as we've got one the wrong way around down here as it is the, the Alex, Josh, Williams, or Josh machine. Williams machine is uh, nose first into the outside wall here off from turn number four. Same underneath Timmy Hill in the 66 and just, just gets around on him. Oh, contact with Landon Castle. Around he goes. Watch how close it is from hitting the wall. Just stop. Mm. Inside of a car link behind him. Coming up on the white flag. One lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. Denny Hamlin. Out in front, two car links. Cole Custer chasing, closing the gap now as he comes out of two. Down the backstretch for the final time. He could get to his rear bumper in the center of three and four. He dives down low. Will he try to slide up? Not enough room. Denny Hamlin off turn four. Will hold him off. Hamlin wins again at Darlington. Hell of a job, Denny Hamlin. Way to fight all day, buddy. Good for him. Good job, guys. Way to go, man. Great job, man. He's won the Daytona 500 twice. Earlier this year to start off the season, he was in victory lane. At Daytona, as you look at his career at Darlington. Denny Hamlin has always been really good at this racetrack, but at this point in his career, six top fives in a row, never done that before on the cup side. And then come to Darlington, where you are so good, knock the win off. Right now, there is no question in my mind that Denny Hamlin is the best he's ever been in his career, and his career is full of stats, tons of wins. The only thing he's missing is a cup championship. And, and I know this is a completely different series, but this instantly makes him my favorite for tomorrow. Twice in his career, he has swept both races at Darlington over the course of the weekend. He could make it three times. He's the hottest driver, I mean, in, in either series. Doesn't matter what he's driving, he's on fire. Momentum is real, and this momentum, I believe, will carry to tomorrow. This one was hard fought. His other five wins came from the pole. Starting up front, this one he had to come from the back. Rutledge. 